Hey, I'm Ted Bureau, and in this video I want to talk about a subject that's a little subjective, all right? Because it's something that personally will tend to draw me more to a photo, will draw me more into a photo, and that's a strong sense of shadow, right? I love dark images, right? Not underexposed, <laughs> where you can't see what's going on. Not that kind of uh, underexposed dark image, but where your subject is still effectively lit, you know, where the areas that you want highlighted are still going to pop. And with a strong use of shadows, maybe those areas can pop even more, right? Draw your viewer more to what you want them to focus on. Get a, uh, rid of a lot of the, maybe the distracting detail, um, add drama, add mystery, uh, and hopefully it'll maybe a little bit more mood, emotional impact. Right? I'm going to show you some images I did over the past year that um, have a strong use of shadow, and without that shadow, to me, would be a completely different image and have a completely different impact, you know. So I'll show you those here. This is uh, from a photo shoot I did with Geneva last week, and we wanted to create strong, moody, shadowy images. They could almost be like a, uh, like a movie still, right? Very moody, strong sense of story. And I think the shadows really help with that here. It's from a photo shoot I did with Johnny last year. She is so fantastic at projecting and connecting with the lens. I really wanted to use the shadows uh, to completely draw your attention into her expression. I was over at the Marriott one night and um, just noticed these scenes, right? Single lamplight, uh, moody shadows. You know, if I would have been there during the day, I wouldn't have seen these shadows and I wouldn't have seen these images. To me, this has a strong sense of mood, of story. Even in my street photography, I think that's why I like to shoot so much at night. Because, man, there is so much contrast between the shadows and then the highlighted areas. You know, it, it really does add a lot more mood. You know, it draws the viewer in. What's going on down, you know, down that alley? Much more stronger uh, sense of mystery. I love that. So those are just a few examples of how important strong shadows can be in your photograph, Ryan. Because it's almost like another character. Uh, they're so important that without those shadows, you wouldn't get that shot. You wouldn't have that photograph, right? I said in the beginning this is very subjective um, because maybe this is a kind of look that doesn't even really appeal to you. Or maybe you already um, are shooting kind of low-light, moody shots like this, lots of shadows, and this kind of resonates with you. Um, but, yeah, if, if you haven't really used this a lot, if you haven't, you know, really embraced your shadows, Try this, you know, try letting your shadows go a little deeper, um, using more shadowed area in the photograph. Don't struggle so hard to retain all the detail in those shadows. Let that go away. Um, that'll simplify your image, it'll strengthen your image, and it'll help draw the viewer's attention to where you want them to be looking. Right? Anyway, hey, I'm Ted Vera. If you have any questions, let me know how to answer anything I can, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.